Go to the old factory and find the truck. Okay. Oh, a new Turismo with a different color. It's like a horse of a different color. Come on in. All right, and we're off. I hope this destination isn't very far away. Lately, they've been—I've been getting that. Yeah, lately I've been getting uh, missions here, and then it'll make me drive to the island over. I have to drive to another fucking island. Literally another entire body of land separated by miles of bridges. That's where the next mission is. And that can be a little ridiculous at times. Unless I can speed through it with a cab. But I called Roman earlier for a cab when I went off to, uh, when I said I'd be back later to go find a mission or whatever. I went off, uh, I'll, offline, I guess. I didn't film it, but I called Roman. And he's like, nope, no cab service right now. Sorry, cousin. Click. And I'm like, well, fuck you too. I kind of needed it. I was going a very far ways away. But I drove. I drove the Banshee. Fucked it up a lot. Which, I mean, you know, I guess driving the Banshee is fucking it up is better than not taking a cab at all. Or it's better than taking a cab and not being able to drive it at all. Ah, uh, you, you know what I mean. Oh, shit, balls, tits, ass, fuck, penis, wad, bitch. Hey, I'm here. Nothing breaks like an old wall. Breaks your car, I mean, not breaks down, but old walls break down too, I guess. What up, Faustin? Mr. Faustin, I have the truck. Drive it over to the garage on the corner of Guantanamo and Windmill. Park up inside. Sure. What am I delivering? When it's inside, think of the explosive. It should blow up good. Maybe you'll be careful on the drive over. It's pretty volatile stuff. Explosive? What the fuck? Calculating route. That is funny. Okay, so I gotta be super careful, which has so not been my strategy up until now. Because the truck will blow up. You guys have all played through, well, not all of you. Um, the Grand Theft Auto, I never played, and I mentioned it before in a playthrough, I never played San Andreas, which people always shame me for because San Andreas apparently was undoubtedly the best Grand Theft Auto ever made. Which I'm not going to argue with because I never played it. Uh, the Vice City I played a lot. Not growing up, but towards my later... I guess when I was... Right when the PS2 was about to die. I guess is when this time would have been. I played a lot of... Wait, what kind of map bullshit? Okay. I played a lot of Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Around the time the PS2 was going to go down. Maybe, maybe a couple years before then too. Maybe a year or so before the PS2 ended. A lot of Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And one of the hardest missions in video game history is actually the mission in Grand Theft Auto Vice City where you have to fly the helicopter. It's like a little remote control helicopter and it has like bombs and stuff. And you have to fly it into a building and lay the bombs floor by floor and you can't bump into the walls and you can't get shot too much. And when I was a littler kid, I guess I would have been over 10 at least. But doing these missions, maybe not even 10, I might have been... Yeah, I would have had to have been 10 or so. I actually completed the mission, and I thought that that was insane, because I knew it was one of the hardest missions. Oh! God damn it, I tried so hard to stop. Shit. He even took my $5. I think it's because I broke the gate. Ah, oh, fuck, we may have to restart this mission. Anyways, when I was 9, I was so pumped that I beat that mission, because it is one of the hardest missions in video game history, and I did it, and I just thought that that was phenomenal. For, uh, I mean, you know, me not being an adult or whatever, or having... I guess I did have a lot of video game experience, especially for my age, but... Don't do it! Okay, we're still good. We can still do this. Alright, hell yeah. He's already drunk. I'm nervous enough about driving a truck full of explosives around the city for Mikhail Faust. He's out of control. Anyway, I'm sorry, but if I get drunk with you and then drive this thing, I'll definitely blow myself up. I'll catch you later, cousin. Excuse me. Hey, I can't stop thinking about work. Turn left. Then immediately left. You have arrived. 
He got that wrong. I had to turn right and then immediately right. But we're here. Why do I have to get in the truck? I'm already there. How do I trigger the bomb? Do I want to trigger it while I'm inside? That will kill me. Okay, I'm in the truck. Oh, that's fucking stupid. My natural gamer instincts were to get the fuck away from the bomb before I push the trigger bomb button. That was awesome. That wasn't even my natural gamer in Jesus Christ. That wasn't even my natural gamer instincts. That was my natural human being stay alive instincts. I didn't get the money, I just killed people. Alright, I made it away from the area. Cops aren't gonna find me, that's good. How lucky of me. See, I had to drive to another fucking island, I hate that. I've blown the place up, but don't pull that shit on me again. Maybe I don't want to drive around while sitting on the Nathan bomb. I thought you were the ice-cold killer. I thought nothing scares you, man. Pussy. Hasn't anyone got any balls? You and Dimitri, you'd be nothing without me. Nothing. This is how you treat me. I did not want to outrun the cops again. Okay, I currently have no mission. I suppose I'm waiting on a phone call. Five dollars ain't shit to me, so if you just want to take that and raise the fucking gate. I can't miss this opportunity! We're fine. I don't know how to get back, and I don't know where I'm going, so I guess I'm waiting for a phone call. Unless it makes me go do Brucey missions, which would suck. God damn it! But I am going to try to head to the gun store while I'm waiting. So I might pick back up when we get a phone call. Oh, there we go. Nico, it's Roman. I was talking to Brucey. That's Roy's monkey? He is a good friend of mine. He'll be a good friend of yours, too, if you let him. Anyway. He's got some work, and we are in need of money. Meet him at Brucey's Executive Autos on Mohanad in East Hall. If Mallory calls you, we are bowling together. See you later. You were in need of money. I got three grand to blow, motherfucker. But whatever, I guess it's... Dimitri and Brucey missions? Okay, I'm definitely picking Dimitri. Dimitri, what up, man? We need to talk. Be at the Firefly on Island Boardwalk, your friend Dimitri. You got it. I will cancel my, cancel my Scorpion trip. Holy crap, we got a long ass ways to go. I will skip until I get there, and I will see you guys then. I'm not getting paid to lug your ugly ass around, and I'm not happy about it, okay, my friend? Get in! This is a waste of my life! You're a charming guy, you know that? Screw you, shitface! You remind me of my wife, man. Take advantage of my generosity and insult me at the same time. You got a wife? How about all that women you pick up in the car? My friend, you are a bitch. I thought you were ever since I first see your ugly ass face. Wouldn't matter that I got a wife. If you've been married for three years, you'd realize getting pussy is a very different thing. Don't you love her? Of course I love her, my friend. She cooks for me and does my laundry. I love that woman, yeah. But I love pussy, too. There ain't no tying this warrior down. I'm an animal. I need that pussy. certainly did not enjoy the driving of you. Alright, we're here and I gotta get to this mission before the cops show up. Alright, we did it. <laughs> Thank God. Dimitri. Hey. 
Sit down. What's the problem? What do you think? Mikael, Mr. Faust. Uh-huh. You're given a choice. Kill your best friend or die. What do you do? And there is no way out? Not now. Not after you killed Petrovic's son. You don't have any family. You could run. Wherever you go, people will find you if they want to badly enough. And for this, they want blood. But you and Mikhail, you have so much history. Sure. Well, I killed the boy, so they want me too. No. I told them you were a hired gun. And they said, as long as you were the one to kill him, you'd be spared. <laughs> so that's the way it is. Yes, that's the way it is. He'll be leaving his house in a little while and heading for the club. Do what you have to do. You know, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that we must obey the rules of the game. We can pick the game, Niko Belik, but we cannot change the rules. See you later. I guess I gotta kill Mikael. Now, granted, I did not love Mikael by any means, but I didn't necessarily hate the guy. Now, he looked like a wife beater. If you ever beat his wife, I would not approve of that at all. I don't like the way he was shouting at her and shit. But I didn't see him hit her, so that's that's not good. But he's not beating her, and him beating her would change a lot for me. I would never yell at a woman or anything like that. Don't think I'm condoning that, but as far as this particular video game character goes, it's not the worst I've seen, so. What I think, I think, what am I reasoning with that is, is I think Faustin can change. I think he can go back, because she said they were happy once, and I think my whole thing with that is they can be that again if Faustin changes. So I'm not, like, I'm not super looking forward to killing him, but it won't really bother me. We'll see how this goes. Faustin's last cutscene, maybe. As always, he's got a couple hired guns. Nico, there can be no mistakes with this. Mikael's a dangerous man. I have left some protection for you. Around the side of the club. Your friend, Dimitri. Alright, body armor. This means I gotta start selling body armor in shops. That's cool. He left me a condom! Nope, body armor. Okay. Okay, shotgun seems to be the way to go here. How do I reload? Maybe it only carries seven shells. But shotgun definitely seems to be the way to go. Because it's short range and it kills hard. Nico! Niko Belik. You and Dimitri are taking over, no? This is not about taking over. You brought this on yourself. You pushed things too far. You would be dead if it wasn't for me. That is what Dimitri wanted when you killed Vlad. Dimitri. My brother. You see this? This statue says we are brothers for life. And now he betrays me. You didn't give him a choice. <laughs> you should have been calm. No one, not Dimitri, not anyone tells me to come. You 
think Dimitri would have survived prison without me? He'd just be some prison queen had I not been there. Meet for some gin monkey! I am not dead yet. Some are still loyal to me. Guards! Ha! Let us you watch fight you like guard. a warm, like spineless warm. Fire the gun. Ow, 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 okay. Okay, I remember what the fire button was. Oh, fuck, no, 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 jump! God damn it. God, stop running so slow, Nico Belli. Good God, this mission is hard. I really see myself dying here, just because of I took so much damage in the beginning because I didn't know what the fuck was happening. Goodbye, Mr. Faustin. Ah, you were a good man. Not really. Teabag. Teabag balls in his dead. face. You did a good thing. A hard thing. But a good thing. Hopefully this will mean peace with Petrovic. I figured he would have had more money on him. It's a sad day when it's raining this hard. Okay, it's almost 5 in the morning. How long have I been recording? Almost an hour. We can finish out the hour. Finish out the hour of recording. Damn it. Oh, you kill him and all of his cronies leave. Alright, I really need a hot dog and a hospital and a bunch of shit. Where's the reload button? I thought it was circle. It's not square, that's jump. It's not triangle. L1. R1's take cover. Well, what the fuck? Alright, whatever. I don't need it. Reloading's for pussies. Where's my favorite? There's my favorite. Where am I going, by the way? Oh, a dead end with nothing. Alright, well. The only mission now is Brucey. I need a hot dog stand anyway. God, there's so much shit. You know what? I said I would finish out the hour, but with everything that just went down, I think this is a pretty good note to end it on. A uh, pretty climactic point. Or whatever, but... Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. It won't be that long again before I post GTA. Actually, this is at the end of the session, so that won't make any fucking sense. But, Anyways, yeah, leave a like if you like the video, or the series in general. Um, comment if you feel like it. Fuck if I know. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm Thundershot, and I'm out. Peace.